Sierra of Louisiana, a tornado tore through parts of New Orleans and its suburbs Tuesday night, flipping cars and ripping roofs off homes and killing at least one person in a region that was pummeled by Hurricane Katrina 17 years ago. Parts of St. Bernard Parish, which borders New Orleans to the southeast, appear to take the brunt of the weather's fury, and that is where the fatality occurred. St. Bernard Parish officials gave no details on how the person died, they said multiple other people were injured. Rescue workers are searching through the suburban parish for more people in need of assistance, according to Sheriff Jimmy Poloma. St. Bernard Parish President Guy McInnes said the tornado caused widespread damage throughout the parish. The damage comes after other tornadoes spawned by the same storm system hit parts of Texas and Oklahoma, killing one person Monday and causing multiple injuries and widespread damage. In New Orleans, video taken by a local television station Tuesday showed a large black funnel visible in the darkened sky looming among the buildings in the eastern part of the city. The tornado appeared to start in a New Orleans suburb and then move east across the Mississippi River into the lower ninth ward of New Orleans and parts of St. Bernard Parish, both of which were badly damaged by Katrina, before moving northeast. Reggie Ford was nearby in Araby when the tornado struck. He drove from the area, only to return once it passed, to offer help to anyone who needed it. He said the streets were eerily quiet, only filled with fresh devastation from the twister. A seat on power lines. A church is completely destroyed. Three businesses are completely destroyed. There are eight blocks of houses missing their roofs, the New Orleans resident said. The video he posted on Instagram shows debris cluttered streets and shredded buildings. A battered tar was flipped on its roof. In the New Orleans suburb of Araby, there was a strong smell of natural gas in the air as residents and rescue personnel stood in the street and surveyed the damage. Some houses were destroyed while pieces of debris hung from electrical wires and trees. An aluminum fishing boat in front of one house was put into the shape of a sea with the motor across the street. Power poles were down and leaning over, forcing emergency workers to walk slowly through darkened neighborhoods checking for damage. Michelle Malice of lives in Airby. Initially she had been worried about family that lives in areas north of Louisiana that were also getting hit by bad weather. 